no better sound of starting a day than a screaming siren. But which siren? Because there's quite a few in the range now, and these may look like ones you've seen before, but they're actually fairly new. So I'll slip this one back and run through all the differences there are between these alarms and the previous ones NASA brought out. But thank you for starting my day nicely. Well, that's the rod back out. And as the alarm is now on mute, while I can set the bobbin, please make sure you are subscribed to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on various different social media platforms coming up on your screen right now so you don't miss regular daily updates. Sweet. This is one of my old trusty R3 alarms. And I had these for absolute years and are still in my uh, shed as backups and maybe on my pike setup because I've now moved over to the R4s. And to my left are the R3 pluses. So which one should you go for? Stick with the R3s, jump all the way up to the R4s like I have, or go for something a bit more in the middle with the R3 pluses. In hindsight, for what I use these for, if I'd known these were coming out, I probably would have held out for the R3 pluses because there's some features on the R4, which are incredible and I really like the difference with the drop back indication you've got a different tone of them that the r3 pluses and the r3 doesn't uh, but it's also got this little night light on the back for when you're doing boat work and stuff something i don't really do so there's some features on here which is nice but they aren't drastically different for my own personal angling up from the r3s so that's probably where the r3 plus comes in where the r4 doesn't really or has a few features that some of you aren't interested in or won't use, but you want to have something a little bit better than the R3s. So that is where the R3 Pluses come in. Now, the first thing to note is the size difference, because as you can see, here's an R3, here's an R4, quite a big size difference between those two. So if I put these down here, R3 next to R3 Plus, as you can see, the size difference is pretty much exactly the same. And there's the R4. So that gives you more of an idea of just how much bigger the R4s are compared to the R3 and R3 Plus. And just to give you an idea just exactly how big these are, they're exactly the same shape and size. Here's an R3 Plus case going onto my R3. And here's one of my R3 cases, just mute that a sec, going onto the R3 Plus. So they are exactly the same size as we've come to see, put it back on, there we go, as we've come to see with the R3s. So if you're wanting to know about the size, you've already got the R3s or something, you don't want to go up to the size of the R4, then that's, again, another plus point for the R3+. Plus. When it comes to features, obviously it's packed full of features. Now, one of the things the R3s were, I would say, in looking back now, where they're held back by, is that you had to buy the alarm head with the colour you wanted it to be. So I went all blue, and I love the blue colour, but if I wanted to change them, I couldn't. I'd have to buy another alarm head. So that's one of the big plus points to the R3+, Pluses, is that you can now change the LED colour on here. There's five different colours. I believe it's press and hold, no, nope, that's tone, there's volume, I'll work this out eventually, there we go. So I'm going through them there, trying to get my fingers out of the way, so if I press and hold the tone button and the on off button, I rattle through, you've got five different colors, you've got the blue, the magenta, the sort of clear white, red, green, and then back to the blue. So that's how you cycle through them. So like I said, if you wanted to have different colors before and you weren't able to, unless you bought different colored heads, you can now do that on these in built, which is a really nice feature. And with relation to the color, you've also got different night glow bobbin available. These ones have got the blue. So as you can see, if I do that, it's, uh, if I mute it a second, as you can see, that's now illuminating the bobbin itself. So you can get different colored bobbins, but this is obviously I've got blue going through. I think you've got clear, probably the purples, the reds and things. Just for this setup, I've gone all blue. That can be turned off if you didn't want the night glow function back on. Just unmute it again. There we go. So if you wanted to go to, sorry, if you wanted to have a blue head, blue alarm, you can do this, or you can change your bobbins and then you can get a different color head, different color uh, bobbin as well. It's completely up to you, so it's much more customizable. And sorry, what I was saying is that you can turn that night glow function off. So in the day, you don't really need it on. It's gonna be pretty obvious which one of your rods is going off. But at night, when sometimes you'll get a violent take and the whole pod shakes or your alarm shake, and a few of them illuminate, it should be quite obvious which one's going off by a bobbin that's up here dancing around and glowing nice and brightly. That's quite nice that you can now use those, and they just fit straight into the sort of uh, the actual alarm themselves. So it's quite a neat little setup. Same as with on the R4s, you've got the little cap there. You could pop the cap open and thread them in there, a little bayonet fit. But the R3s, I don't think they were as available or how, as many options to use in them because it's more of a screw thread. So I think they're very, very selective on what bobbins worked in there. 
but it was still nice and neat. So this one, you can use the illuminated bobbins or you can take that bayonet fit out. There is an adapter that comes in the kit which screws into it or bayonet fits in there and gives you a screw thread so you can use any other bobbins that you like. So it doesn't have to be just these bobbins if you're using it through that little port, which is quite nice as well. But just going through some of the other settings, as you've seen me using a few times already, the on off button, if you tap that once, it puts it into a mute function. That does it for about 30 seconds. Obviously the other one's going off in the wind now, which I'll get onto in a second. So you can adjust your bobbin, make sure that's all set, and then unmute it and you're back in uh, full swing. So you don't have to annoy all your neighbors when you're adjusting your bobbins or annoy yourself. It should annoy yourself if you're doing it as well. Um, so that's the mute function. Obviously that's the on off as well. So you can turn it off as we've seen before with these. And you'll probably notice the tone itself is that iconic siren screaming sound, which I've already been able to sample today. So I've christened these already. They won't be staying with me, unfortunately, but uh, it's nice to know that I'm sending them back already used. If I press and hold the on off button, then tap the button on the right. That's probably a bit quiet. So if I turn it up to quite loud, that was rattling through the different tone sounds. Again, I try again, press and hold and tap. It's actually quite nice. That's something I just noticed. When you're going through the tone settings, rather than it going through really loud on your volume setting, it goes to a much reduced setting, so that you're not having to rattle through them. Or if you want to have your volume really loud, but you want to change your tone, rather than going through all those tone settings at that full volume, as you've just noticed, it went really, really quiet. So if I do that again, see I've got it on a low tone. If I go back to the high, you probably barely heard that on the mic, but I can assure you it's now been changed. So I've got to put the volume back down again. Pretty loud though, these alarms, put it on volume two. Uh, you've also got the, as I've seen, shown you, the different LED colors, that's the sensitivity, the volume as well, we've just gone through them as well. There's also sensitivity settings, there's three different settings. It's got the third, which is what it comes set as, which is its most sensitive, as you can see. It's uh, pretty intense, uh, ten intense, press and hold. Two beeps, so that's now gone to a slightly reduced sensitivity. I think it goes down just to the roller wheel. It's got some other magnetic or, or some, not magnetic, sorry, vibration. I'm not sure. There's two, there's two different types of indication in this. Third is the most sensitive. So it's going to be what you, it comes set as. This setting should cut out some of the wind noise and sort of weed toe and things like that. And for slower takes and press and hold again, you go down to one beep. And this is now on its most reduced sensitivity setting. Still pretty sensitive, but it should eliminate any kind of false indications when you don't want them. Press it again, put it up to full sensitivity. Onto number three, and really, really sensitive. Doesn't have a different uh, tone with the drop back, which you do get with the R4s, but some people don't really like that different tone. And if you don't need it, often it's quite obvious when your rod's going off. If you just want that forward take to be the same as the backwards, you still got this, that with the R3s. Some other things we're used to seeing with these, you've got the fully removable rubberized snag ears, which come off as easy. I don't want to drop it in the lake, so I'm being careful. Oh, I've dropped it anyway. So they come off as easy as that. If you ever want them to be off, I'm not sure I've ever seen anyone using these without the snag ears on. I don't know why you take them off because you just ask for trouble if you're going to get take violent takes. And I also think the snag ears finish off the classic siren look. So just screw that back in on there. Now, before I jump onto the receiver for the R3 Plus, based on what you know about the heads alone, which one would you opt for out of these three? The R3, the R3 Plus, or the R4? Let us know in the comment section below. And that brings us over to the receiver. Again, it looks just the same as the R3, only it now says R3 Plus Siren on them instead. So if I turn that on, We'll be met with all the lights going around. I've already synced these up, so as you can see, I've got it coming through on there. If I was to change the color, to, so I've changed it to white, it will automatically change to white on there, see? Change it again to red. Already, it's as instant as that. So one beep later, it's already showing that it's changed that to red. That's just a bit of wind on the other one. So anything you change on here, same with the tone as well. So if I was to change the tone, it would automatically change on the receiver as well. Syncing them up couldn't be simpler. You just press and hold these two. And that's now completely forgotten about any of the alarms I've got on here. As you can see, it's not coming through on the receiver anymore. So if I press and hold the power and volume button again, that will open up the channels. So there we are, it's now waiting for channel number one. There we go, synced. Move on to the next one. That's the second one done. Press and hold. 
and they are now saved. So I've got one on there, one on there, absolutely sorted. Now I could go in here and put these on mute or really quiet, like so. And then I've got the volume on the receiver. It's gonna be doing the main part of it. On here, I can also change the volume and have it completely muted if I wanted. And you've got vibrate modes as well, which is really, really violent. I'll try and put it onto just a vibrate mode just to show you how violent the vibrate is. There you are. Really intense vibrate on there. Press and hold the V button. And that goes to just lights now. So it's making no noise, it's just lights. Press it again. And we've now got both again. So you can go through whether you want just LED, just vibrate, just sound, or all of them at once. It's completely optional to you. And you've also got an anti-theft mode on here. So if I press and hold the A, I'm probably gonna make, oh, that was on. So if I turn it on, press it on again, you hear two tones going up. If I turn this alarm off, it's gonna make a lot of noise. So that's gonna annoy quite a lot of anglers. So I'll just cover that speaker and make sure that I've logged that I know that alarm is now off. Turn the alarm back on. Turn the receiver back on. That was just my quick way of shutting it up. And turn that anti-theft off. And then turn the alarm off. As you can hear, it's now not going off. So you don't have to have the anti-theft on all the time. If you want to just turn the alarm off and not be uh, given that noise in your pocket, or if you left the receiver in the bivy, I've done that before when I had the anti-theft on, turned an alarm off and it was going mad back in my swim. You don't have to have that on all the time. It's nice to know that you have got that feature if you want it. Turn it back on and we're back synced back up. That is pretty much the R3s in a nutshell. I'd say the, the key biggest changes would be the fact that you can change the LED colors on the heads themselves and also the bayonet fitting into the alarm is ever so slightly changed from the R3s. So it's a bit more refined because these ones used to be a screw thread and you could be quite selective with the different bobbins you can use, as I said, but now it's bayonet fit and it also comes with a bayonet to screw thread adapter so you can change what bobbins you use whenever you like it. So that's the, pretty much the main differences with this. So if you like the R3s, you like the size, the shape, the sound and everything, but you just want to be able to change the LED colors and a few other little features, then the R3 Pluses are definitely for you. If you still wanted to jump up again to something with a bit more features, then do take a look at the R4s, because as I said, these have the light on the back for if you're doing boat work, it's got the differentiation with the drop back, you've got wave detection, and uh, this thing that's, if your rods are going up and down on a boat, or you get a lot of weed tow, it can move a certain amount of distance before it starts giving you indication. There's a lot more features in there, so that's why the price of this and the size, I guess, is much bigger, because it's got a lot more going on inside them. But that's the R4s inside. I have done a video on that before and there's plenty online about the R4s, so do take a look at them. R3s, if you've got them and you want to stick to them and the changes from the R3 Pluses aren't enough for you, then they're still brilliant alarms, still for sale. They've stood the test of time, mine certainly have. And actually looking at it now, there's one here where I had such a violent take once, the line started to cut into the side of the alarm. Never had any issues with them. Rain, wind, snow, icy conditions, they just never failed. I mean, they're still, some of them, I think this one is still on its original battery. And as you can hear, still turns on and still works as the day I got them. So these are stood the test of time. I see no reason why the R3 Pluses won't because it's the same shape and build and materials. And the R4s as I've been using for probably since they came out, have also not let me down yet. So they're very, very worth a look at. Now the price for the R3 Plus two plus one sort of kit that I've got with me today it comes in at 329.99 and it's pretty universal across the board from what I've seen online. If you go for the three plus one set, you're looking at 429.99. So it's an extra hundred pounds for the final or additional head. So that's the prices you're looking at. So whether you're a Siren user already, like I have been for years, there's no denying it. I am a, a, a Siren fanboy. I started with the S5s from years ago. That was the one with just the dial that turned them on and had volume. I've still got them in my shed and they still work. Pretty sure on the original batteries, then I went to the R3s, had these for years, never let me down. So when the R4s came out, I just thought, well, I might as well jump up to the most modern version of the Scion alarms. How, having said that though, if I'd known the R3 Pluses were in the pipeline, I probably would have held out for them just for my personal fishing. There's some features on the R4 that I won't use, like the, the boat stuff, the canal fishing, the boat work light that you've got on the back. Those are features that are nice to have there, but for my own fishing, I probably don't really use. So I think that's where the R3 Pluses are coming in. They're that 
in between mark from people that want to step up from the r3s but don't want to go all the way up to the r4s the r3 plus is the perfect one for you so i hope you like this video please hit like if you did and subscribe to us and hit the bell icon if you haven't done so already and also follow us on all the different social media platforms coming up on your screen right now hopefully they go off before i go them again a lovely fish to start the day but it'd be nice to have a few more come on Luke had a 30 today. What's that all about? Luke's catching. What? Can't have that. 